Hi, I'm Marcel, back with The Pulse. Today I want to break down, after getting lots of comments and questions about all the different supplements I take, when I take them, why I take them, I'm going to break them down one by one in the order that I started taking them up until what I'm taking now. There are six of them, plus some multivitamins. Well, basically I take vitamin C, a vitamin B complex, and a D and K combination. Uh, in addition to the six supplements. I've also made many other changes that were inspired by taking specifically resveratrol and NMN, made a lot of changes to my diet, exercise, sleep habits that I continue to expand upon and evolve. I'll get into some of that stuff now, but I'm gonna, I'm building a separate video to really update you on my entire health story because what I've been doing is exercising a lot, uh, typically four or five hours a day. I exercise every day. Um, I couldn't even imagine doing this with, with the recovery process being so slow before the supplements. So it's been very empowering for me and very enriching. Um, one cool thing is lost the weight around my neck and my gut. Uh, I'm able to go buy uh, large shirts now. Uh, I go right to the L's instead of the XL's as my first option and uh, usually fits. Uh, this is an L I bought uh, last week and uh, I'm really pleased. Now, looking great is nowhere in comparison to feeling great, but that's been my focus up until now. Do I feel great? And now I'm like, am I doing great? So not just feeling younger, but my focus has become, am I doing younger? So again, I'm gonna get into all that in another upcoming video soon, but I wanted to give you, on to preface the, um, the supplement story a bit with what they've actually done for me and how they've helped uh, transform my life in ways I just never thought possible. I really feel like I got back, I got myself back, which is just a great feeling. By the way, I'm 57, I turned 57 in December. So uh, I consider myself pushing 60 and I definitely don't feel that I look, act or feel anywhere close to my age anymore. So uh, the first supplement that I started taking was almost three years ago now. Um, it was uh, resveratrol. Now I first started taking resveratrol, that this is the do not age that I take now. And uh, I first started taking it on Amazon, had pretty good results with it, but I did kind of feel the effects of it. So if I took, if I started to increase it, I would feel a bit edgy, um, a little nervousness. So um, out of uh, convenience and just trust that built up over time, I started last fall taking the Do Not Age version and immediately felt no negative side effects. Um, and so I've been able to increase over time as I've increased my NMN, um, the powder that I take. Now, it's a chalky powder that um, it comes with a spoon, comes with a 500 milligram spoon, specifically measured for resveratrol. It's important to get this one in a powdered form because uh, you can't digest it. You can't absorb it right directly through the stomach if you just drink it with water, just take a capsule of it. Uh, to absorb it, you need to take it with a fatty source of some kind. So uh, David Sinclair at Harvard, who spearheaded a lot of the research into these uh, supplements and others, um, he suggests that either uh, something like olive oil or a fatty yogurt. I take it with fatty yogurt. I put some of my vitamin C powder that I get here at a local German pharmacy, uh, also very pure and trustworthy. I put that in with some blueberries. I, for those of you that are aware of my video about super yogurt, I did stop putting honey in it. So I really reduced my sugar intake um, over time. I also was reminded I, I also stopped uh, alcohol, but I want to get into the reason I stopped that and what it's doing for me um, specifically. Still have a, a beer or wine at some point over the summer, but for now I've just stopped it all altogether. I just just don't feel the need for it. But I'll get more into that in a moment. So, resveratrol exists naturally in uh, grapes, berries, nuts. Um, all of these supplements either exist naturally already in, in foods that we eat, healthy foods that we consume, or they're in our bodies already. And the point is that they deplete over time. Resveratrol has like a 20 year track record, um, a lot of positive science out there, but be careful. There's always a naysayer. There's always some information that men run counter. And is resveratrol perfect for everybody? Well, there's many forms of resveratrol. So you wanna be careful and that's why I go with one that I trust. Um, 
there are also different purity levels, different types of resveratrol. So you need to be a little careful. Don't just blanket say, oh, resveratrol, I've taken it. Because like I said, I had adverse effects to a couple other resveratrols I tried. I wouldn't, they weren't deal breakers. I felt more benefits than, than negative side effects. However, I do feel a lot more comfortable with this one. So I take this one. Um, by the way, I don't work for Do Not Age. I am an affiliate. There's an affiliate link with a 10% discount in the notes, but I take everything from them and I get it tested and I, um, I've built up a certain trust level with them and that's why I stick with them. There are other sources out there. I'm not saying you have to buy from them, but I make it easy. They make it easy. Uh, it's a good brand. Now, after taking resveratrol for about a year, um, I started taking NMN. Now, the reason I didn't start taking NMN right away, it wasn't as studied at the time. I researched it. I did find out about resveratrol and NMN from, uh, from David Sinclair and, and videos and interviews that he's done, information that he's published about them. But I did wait on NMN. It was very pricey. So the price has been slowly coming down over time. And I was able to get into it um, October of 20. Took it for three months and then switched brands to an even cheaper one on Amazon. And that one turned out, I took that one for almost seven months. It turned out to be completely fake. So that inspired my video that I make. Some of you have seen. I don't recommend buying any of these supplements uh, on Amazon. Uh, certainly not NMN, but I just avoid using Amazon for supplement. There's plenty of good companies you can go direct. You know where they've been stored. You you can trust that, you know, a company like Do Not Age, they have a high turnover rate and sometimes they run out of things. So you know it was just recently manufactured everything you buy from them because they're constantly turning over their stock. So that's another reason to go with someone that's very active uh, in selling uh, for quite frequently. So NMN, um, it is a precursor to NAD+, which is in your body. You couldn't survive without NAD+, in your body. NMN and also NR um, and also niacin are, and also apigenin are all uh, precursors to NAD. They boost your NAD levels. NMN has been found to be of the ones that are out there. According to David Sinclair, he feels it's the most efficient. So I've taken it and many people have taken it. And some people I know that were trying NR had switched to this. Keep in mind, though, you may need a little bit higher dosage to feel the effects. This is something I've noticed recently from myself and others. There's a big difference between 500 milligrams and 1.5. I would start off small if you start with NMN, but then I would um, slowly increase it. Uh, the NMN is also a powder, and you want to make sure that like, you can see that is really, really white and you don't want it to be discolored. You don't want it to be exposed to moisture or excessive heat. Um, you don't need to refrigerate it according to studies that have been have gone on out there. Uh, don't believe some of those studies. Like I said, there's a study that says the opposite of any study you find. Um, judge for yourself is really the best, uh, the best way to go about this. But uh, I found NMN to be really, really the most powerful of all the supplements I take, the most important, the one I feel immediate and long-lasting effects of. I take it as a powder as opposed to a capsule. Either one will get in your bloodstream. So I consider the powder form to be optional, whereas with resveratrol, you definitely want to take the powder. With NMN, um, I like the powder because I like taking it sublingually under the tongue. So inside, there is a spoon, also a 500 milligram spoon. Now I'm up to 1.5, I'm on my way to going to two. This next, uh, like tomorrow, the next day after I do my NAD test, I'm gonna do four of these. So I'm gonna do two in the morning. Um, by the way, let me, let me first mention, resveratrol I take at 11 to 12 a.m. when I have that super yogurt, first meal of the day. I put it in the yogurt, I take it all at once. I don't take it twice a day, I take it one time uh, at, at around 11. So NMN, um, because it's best, it's said to be best on an empty stomach. I take a, a spoon right now in the morning and a couple spoons in the afternoon. I'm going to up it to two spoons in the morning. By the way, the 1.5 is sort of a transition mode. I only started that three days ago, so I don't really consider it to be my dosage. I'm going from one to two, but I am doing a stair stepping a little bit just for a few days, 1.5. And I felt an immediate boost in my mornings and middays. Uh, typically, I'm an afternoon, evening person. I'm not a morning person. So, um, I, I like to take it in the evenings because that's when I'm doing afternoon and evenings when I'm doing most of my exercise. I find this has created 
quite a morning person. I'm making this video around midday right now, and I feel like I'm wide awake. I feel like it's 5 p.m. So the Enemen in the morning has been really cool. But I do take it first on an empty stomach. I take it in the afternoon, sort of in a hole between uh, any lunch or late breakfast and dinner. Sometimes I have lunch, sometimes I don't. So um, Enemen, uh, I'm going up to two grams. I started at 500. I felt a difference going up to one. I felt a difference going up to 1.5. I'm curious to see what happens with two grams. Um, the other thing about powder is you can regulate easily the dosage. And, um, you, and the price is better. And uh, yeah, I think I feel more con in control of how I'm taking it. I like taking it sublingually because I found that I haven't had any colds or uh, any serious uh, sinus or um, allergy symptoms since I started taking that sublingually. So to me, it's like, okay, you know, results matter. So I just take it that way. This is the one I've been getting questions about recently. This is the one I added third, right after, around the same time I added NMN, started taking TMG. TMG, also known as biotin, uh, exists in your body already. It is also something similar to NAD. Keep in mind, NMN turns into NAD in your body. TMG you can put in your body and you do have this depletes over time as we age. So boosting this is really healthy. Now, it uh, helps with your body's methylation. It helps with your liver function. It helps with your heart. It helps with your stomach. There's a lot of known science behind TMG. It's great to take even if you're not taking NMN, but it makes NMN work better for you. So the way that these first three work together is consider NMN, the fuel. And again, this is coming from uh, David Sinclair, the fuel for your body and for your energy and for your cells. Okay. This is the accelerator for the fuel. That's the uh, resveratrol. This is the management, the processing helps your body process the NMN and the extra cell generation, improves your liver function. This specifically has a lot to do with why I've just decided to hold off on drinking alcohol for right now because. When you drink alcohol, your liver processes that first. And if I'm taking all these supplements to better manage my, my body, um, why would I want to put the brakes on this just to process alcohol every few days or sometimes every evening? So for now, and I've felt amazingly well. Another reason I stopped alcohol is I don't feel the need for it. Like I used to drink, oh, I need a beer. You know, I would always find myself saying, oh, I need a beer. And two or three in, I'd, I'd have a great six hours. I'd go to bed, sleep kind of crappy, <laughs> wake up at 3 a.m. Um, but uh, but it was a nice few hours. Uh, I still plan on having a beer in the summer, uh, you know, in, a, in the right setting or wine with a meal if I visit France. Because like I said, we live in Germany. Sometimes we drive to France, have a nice meal, pair it with, you know, so it's so, sort of drinking as a culinary thing, uh, but not as a life management or something that I do uh, as a habit. Um, I've just stopped and I feel great. I'm able to exercise, like I said, every day. I don't have that downtime because I'm drinking, because the next morning I'm a little slower. Um, it's been better, you know, and so, yeah, I've decided to go ahead and do that. So that's why I take TMG. I take that now two times a day because um, I take one pill. Uh, these are capsules. I take uh, one in the morning now, one in the evening, uh, just before I do my uh, NMN. And uh, the other one I started taking is CAAKG. It's kind of a funny story, interesting story. Um, I found out about CAAKG. I had seen it on the Dana H website and I'd seen it around, but I never really gave it much thought because I'm happy with the stuff I'm taking. But uh, because I'm a YouTuber, because I spent a lot of time on YouTube, a video about the impacts, the benefits of AKG came up in my YouTube feed and my homepage. And I started watching it, started researching it, started asking questions. It turns out there's a ton of science in um, the anti-aging benefits. And when I talk about anti-aging, I'm not talking about living forever, okay? I, we don't know how long we're going to live. We should be blessed for every day. We're blessed with every day we get, right? But as far as longevity goes, I'm talking about longevity. Let's let's look at it this way. Fighting back, not just aging, but the effects of aging. And so that's what AKG does really well. Um, you feel younger. I feel younger within an hour of taking it. It's a really nice little buzz boost I get, similar to the NMN. 
it feels kind of youthful. And of course, it's 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 good for your body. There are many studies out there, but I do feel better when I take it, which is obviously a, a nice bonus. I don't just have to take it on faith and take it on faith of the science. I actually feel great when I take it. So uh, it's like I drink one cup of coffee less because I feel so great from this. And like I said, I've eliminated all sugar. So um, it's nice to have these little things to look forward to during the day. I take this twice a day. It's also in capsule form. And um, very easy to take with water, tasteless, no side effects. Uh, wonderful product I'd recommend, even if you don't want to take NMN. Now, the next couple of supplements are uh, unique uh, to uh, Do Not Age in that they developed with Vera Gorbanova a, a CERT-6 activator. CERT-6 activator is derived from seaweed and is said to, um, well, boost the CERT-2 and 6. It comes from seaweed and it smells fishy. So... It has a funky kind of seaweed uh, smell to it, which I guess isn't surprising. And um, they sent me a little bottle to sort of try it. I got to tell you, I don't feel an immediate impact from this, but in general, I felt better overall. Sort of this downstream effect of all the supplements working. And it's a dietary thing. It comes from seaweed. It's not like a drug necessarily, or, you know, it's a, it's truly a dietary supplement. So I do kind of take this one on faith. However, I have felt really great the past few months since I started taking it. So I can't really do, uh, say that I felt something specific from that. Whereas do not wear this AKG and the next one I'm going to talk about, the sixth one, I have felt direct impacts to my skin, nail growth, um, and you know, joints and bones feeling like they're stronger in my workouts, being able to help my frame of my workouts and do more. Um, the last one that I take is Sephora Boost. It's Sephora Fane. It is a unique one. Now, this is uh, available out there out there um, in different forms. Uh, this is a new one that they develop at Do Not Age that is very pure, high level of purity. This exists in things like broccoli, cauliflower. It has a veggie kind of smell to it as well, which is interesting. And... Um, I've really liked this one. I've taken it now three weeks. And, you know, I first had some from CAKG, some, some skin and hair kind of benefits. This one has been even better and it's been shown to uh, improve hair growth. Don't know that I'm having more hair, but I definitely feel like I've had a little bit healthier hair just from the touch and just working with it every day. Um, but also the skin is super, my skin, I don't think you can almost kind of see it in the video. It's just been super smooth and clear. And uh, so I really, I like this product a lot. This has been a nice surprise. So those are the six I'm taking. Um, I, uh, I am living healthier. It was inspired by resveratrol and NMN. I am working out, as I said, quite a bit. Uh, I intermittent fast. I don't eat until 11. I don't eat after 7 p.m. Stop sugar, stop alcohol. Uh, so I've definitely cleaned up my act. I eat a lot more fish, uh, red meat, maybe once a week, sometimes twice, but more rarely. Um, and uh, usually it's a, it's a white meat, a, a chicken, or but I definitely eat a lot of salads. I take a lot of olive oil and I've increased my fish to like three, four times a week at least. So these are the changes uh, that I've made. Again, look out for more videos. I'm going to start testing my NAD. I got the NAD test from Do Not Age as well. So I'm going to make a video soon about that and walk you through that process as well. So I hope this has been helpful. Oh, I forgot to, to mention one thing. I take the, um, the CERT-6. I take it once a day. Some people take it twice. I take it um, after lunch around midday. Sephora boost, Sephora boost I take in the mornings and in the evenings. I try to spread these things out uh, so that I'm not just taking three, four pills at once uh, and giving my body some time to sort of take it in, digest it, and work through it. So I uh, hope this has been helpful. Please comment, uh, ask questions, subscribe, obviously. Keep up with my other videos. I appreciate that. But i uh, love to hear your comments, both positive, negative questions that you have, because this video really stemmed from the questions I was getting from uh, viewers about these supplements. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.